You ever get those days when you're just anticipating something awesome coming in? Today for me is one of those days. The name Schechter's come up on my show quite a bit over the years because one of the most reliable guitars I've ever had come in the studio was my Schechter C1 Hellraiser that I bought back at the end of 2007. I think this guitar is close to 15 years old now. I got this two days before Christmas in 2007, and believe me, walking into a guitar center two days before Christmas is not a good idea. And for everybody who's watching this show that actually works at Guitar Center, my condolences on the upcoming festivities. You poor bastards. This thing's been an absolute studio weapon. I absolutely adore this guitar. Um, I don't even think I've ever had to adjust the neck once. It's been a rock solid studio machine. It stays in tune and sounds good. What more do you really need? Uh, this guitar has wound up on a lot of clients' records because it's super reliable in terms of tuning stability and has definitely replaced some far more expensive instruments. So I've been talking to the company off and on over the last couple of years saying, hey, we should really do something. We should really do something. I've been a huge fan of the brand. I would love to feature you guys on the show. It has just never, ever seemed to happen. That is until now. I've still yet to pull this out because we get oh, a full on plastic case here. This is really sick, guys. This is what you'd call a case that's built to last. I've got a Jackson V case that I got in 1995, and it's still in rock solid condition. So yeah, same kind of thing. But yeah, when you have v cases for Vs, hard shell cases, they can get to be a little bit huge. If you say that's what she said one more time, I'm going to pop you. Oh, oh, that's a beautiful case. It really is. But look at that guitar. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna spin this around so I'm gonna actually pull it out of here and not drop it. I, I can't reach, man, I can't reach. Okay, let me turn this around. Before I even play a note here, I just wanna give a great big shout out to all the guys who work in the LA shop who do the setups and the finish work and all that kind of stuff. You guys are awesome. I know a bunch of you guys watch the show. And in fact, I even know a few of you guys from back in the Andy Sneap Forum days. So all I can say is yes, I can't wait to try this out and see what you guys have been up to. I know you're doing good work, so... Uh, can't wait to see what this is. Oh, it's light. Oh, wow. Just feel that front work. That's what I'm talking about. That's how it's done. Okay, initial inspection. Okay, just besides my own my own fingerprint here. Quite exquisite. Look at that. Look at look at the look at the wood on the back here. Jeez. Oh, That's sharp. That's real sharp. Damn. So we get a couple of fishmans. Let's see if it's in tune. Wow. Okay, so we had the chip trip all the way up here from California, and it's still relatively in tune. That's super cool. I'm looking at some goodies here as well in the bag. Let's see what we got. We've got a very, very cool Schecter guitar strap, keys for the case, and a set of Allen keys. Nice touch, guys. The main attraction is here. Here is the guitar. I gotta say, I like the bevel cut here in the back. That's a really nice touch. You know, it just sits really nicely against the stomach, gives you a little bit more space. I like the slim neck profile. I mean, like the one gripe if I have any about the Hellraiser is the fact that the neck is a little bit thick. Uh, this is definitely a little bit thinner, a lot bit thinner than a Hellraiser neck, that's for sure. And it just feels super comfy. So this is gonna be an awful lot of fun to play. Uh, no problem accessing the upper frets, like there should be anyway, because uh, yeah, it's a freaking V, but yeah, they, it's really easy to get, get up there, no problem at all. It actually looks like they put some halfway decent strings on this too. These might be a little bit fatter than normal. So uh, yeah, these don't feel like nines. These might be tens or even elevens. All right, we'll tell you what, let me get this thing tuned up. I'm gonna get it plugged in. Let's take it for a spin, shall we? nailed that last little bend shit but it was going so well how many of you guys have ever been there before all right all right so it's been a couple of weeks since i unboxed the guitar and it's just been sitting off to the side saying play with me play with me because it is freaking amazing 
And I didn't want to let the cat out of the bag and use it on any other demos until I got the rest of this shot because, you know, it is just, it's so sweet. It's so beautiful. It really is. This guitar in any every sense of the word is absolutely freaking magnificent. I am beyond blown away. Uh, this is definitely going into my top five favorite guitars ever. Uh, Schechter just completely knocked it out of the park with this one. Yes, I'm even wearing a Schechter t-shirt because I'm just so happy with this thing. First and foremost, the fretwork is probably some of the best I've ever seen. These frets are polished. They are smooth as glass. They're just somebody really put some TLC into these uh, in the fit and finish department because damn, this is great. These aren't even super jumbo frets. They're like extra super jumbo or something insane like that. They're gotta be the biggest frets I've ever seen. And yeah, they'll just let you do pinch harmonics till the cows come home. <laughs> Yeah, just completely and totally impressed by the fretwork on here. Oh, it's just so glorious. Now, there are a lot of features to like about this guitar. First and foremost, the trust rod adjustment going on right here. So if you need to get to the neck, you don't have to pop a cover off or anything like that. Just jam a stick in there and give it a twist. And as it stands right now, I think the action is just about perfection. I didn't have to touch anything on this guitar. The only thing I did was change the strings out from the Ernie Balls that they had on here, and I put my set of signature SIT 10 to 54s on this guitar, and yeah, it just, it just plays so nicely. Tuning stability is rock solid. Light, I would expect from a Schecter. No real issues with that. Um, that being said, when I'm tracking for these demos, I've always got a tuner on hand just in case, but hasn't seemed to be giving me any kind of trouble whatsoever. Whatsoever. Balance is really great as well. Oh, let's do the drop test. One sec here. It does slide a little bit, but it's not like super top heavy or anything like that. I think if you got the right strap and maybe had some unfinished leather behind it, it wouldn't slide around as much. It doesn't really feel very bad, but if you're jumping around on stage, it might get a little low on you. So just be aware of that. I've definitely had far worse in here for that kind of thing, so no problem there. Like where they put the output jack on the guitar is nice and out of the way. Now, I know a bunch of you guys have been complaining about some of the solar guitars on their Vs and the output jack sitting back here because when the cable's plugged in, if you're not careful, the end of that cable's going to get you right in the balls, and that is no fun at all. So, uh, cheers to Schechter for putting it up out of the way where it's not going to damage any soft tissue. Good thinking, guys! Yeah, visually, I have not been able to find any flaws on this guitar whatsoever. It's just about perfection right out of the box. There's no cracks. There is no weird marks. There is no anything. Yeah, this is this was really well taken care of. Um, I love the black satin finish on front here. And I don't know what you call this on the back, but it certainly looks cool. That's for sure. Nice job, guys. And, you know, given the asking price of the guitar, this is the kind of finish work I would expect unlike another certain Silver V I might have reviewed early this year. <coughs> yeah, oh, that was a really good investment. <laughs> On the headstock, we've got some Schecter branded locking tuners. And again, guitar seems to be pretty damn stable as far as tuning goes. Haven't been able to find any complaints whatsoever. We got a couple of Fishman humbuckers on here. And if you watched my most recent test on pickups, it's like humbuckers are humbuckers. I mean, like this pickup does this. This pickup does this. And then uh, we've got some taps and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, 
adds a little bit of a subtle shift. I'm sure if you're playing clean, there's going to be a lot more to hear there when you're playing full on distortion. I think I'm hearing a slightly darker voicing here with the with the uh, with with this thing pulled out. <laughs> Then again, maybe not. I don't know. It's, it's a pretty subtle shift regardless what's going on there. Never had any complaints with Fishman's, though. They definitely do the job. They amplify the strings in a nice high gain and yet very noise-free kind of way. And that's what you really want with pickups. Overall, the guitar sits very, very comfortably. I've got no issues uh, sitting with it and playing this style whatsoever. I'm mean, like, obviously, you know, playing a flying V like this is going to be a little tricky. I don't know if I can do this or not. Of course, I think the V shape was actually meant to have like the, the arm going this way for some whatever. <laughs> I don't know, not very comfortable in my opinion. I much prefer sitting with it like this. Strut, now the strap does keep the guitar at a very nice angle here and it's super easy to play this way. So you might, if you're playing sitting down, you might want to keep a strap on. <laughs> This guitar just plays it beautifully. I'm really looking forward to using it on some upcoming demos and stuff like that. I got a couple things in boxes just sitting off camera here uh, that I'll definitely be using this guitar to help put things through their paces with because it just plays so nice. Now, once again, I got to go back to the Hellraiser, which I got in like 2007. And so here we are like 16 years later. Oh man, am I ever feeling old now? Uh, and it's good to know that Schechter has definitely kept up with their quality. Specs wise, we're looking at a Swamp Ash body. That's what makes it super light. It's got a fat satin finish and the neck is made from maple, walnut and padauk. Hope I pronounced that right. I've never heard of that wood before, but hey, whatever, it looks cool. Next shape is what they call ultra thin C. Fingerboard is ebony and they've got these really cool Roman numerals inlays. So that way the guitar players don't get lost. You can tell what fret they are once somebody finally explains to them how Roman numerals work. Scale length is 25 and a half inches and the nut material is melamine. That might be my only gripe with this guitar is the nut. I would much prefer something really awesome, say like or Graph Tech Tusk Nut or something like that. Bridge is tunematic style and I've got no complaints with that. I've got that on my Hellraiser as well. The only thing I'm gonna mention is the string ferrules do seem to be glued down. On my Hellraiser, they never did seem to be. So every time you go to change strings, you wind up popping the ferrules out and looking around on the floor for them for the next half hour. So that was always a big gripe there. At least they have fixed that. This guitar is going for $13.99 US at Sweetwater and a little bit more than that at Toman. I'm going to have some affiliate links in the description below so you guys can check those out. Just spoiler alert, if you guys click that, that helps me pay the rent, so I would very much appreciate that. Now for my overall rating, we're going to apply the five-star breakdown. For packing, I give it a five. I mean, like, come on, they gave it a hard shell case and it just fit the guitar beautifully. What more can you ask for? I bet you you could probably throw this thing off a roof with the guitar in there and it wouldn't hurt it, but I am not about to put that to the test just in case, but it's still pretty damn good. Uh, I'll let some other brave soul do that one. Fit and finish, once again, I gotta give this a five. The body's flawless, the fretwork is probably the best I've ever seen. Uh, all you guys in the LA shop who are doing the fit and finish, take a bow, you crushed it with this thing. Nicely done. Components, four and a half out of five. The the Fishmans are great. You know, the Tunematic Bridge is great. The String Ferrules are glued down great. Once again, the only gripe I've got here is the fact that the nut is in our craft tech. That's a personal favorite of mine. I think that would have made this guitar absolutely perfect. But then again, changing out a nut shouldn't be that big of a deal. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that at some point. Now this nut is compensated, so I understand why they did that. It's an intonation thing, and I'm sure it does the job. Let's just take a look here real quick. Yeah. 
Yeah, it seems to make some really beautiful chords, that's for sure. The only thing I'm noticing is the strings do tend to get a, stuck a little bit in the nut uh, during tuning sometimes, so that's my only gripe there. And like I said, graph text, yeah, they tend to just slide a little bit better and save the fucking round. So I get it, it's a trade-off thing. I still probably would have went over graph tech. Setup again, five stars, the guitar played flawlessly right out of the box. I didn't have to adjust the neck, didn't have to do anything. The action's just magnificent. Yeah, this guitar just makes me smile when I play it. Uh, and that's what a guitar should do, you know? If you're, you're buying an awesome instrument, it should put a smile on your face. You shouldn't have to mess with it when you get it home from the store. It should just do the thing. And this thing does it beautifully. So overall, overall rating is 4.875 stars. Uh, well done, guys. Great job. This is one of the highest rated guitars I've had on this show. So yeah, amazing stuff. So once again, if you guys want to find it, you can check out some affiliate links at Toman and Sweetwater. This is the Schechter V1 SLS Evil Twin. Absolutely amazing. I can't wait to use it on some more demos on the show. That's for sure. Yeah, this is just absolutely spectacular. Great job, guys. I'm absolutely blown away. Well done. Well done. This is exactly the kind of guitar I dream about owning. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to check out some more of my Flying V style guitar reviews, you can check them out right here. We'll take a look at one I paid way too much money for that had some pretty serious issues. Thanks again for watching. Check out the video. Oh, yeah. And if you're really curious about how well this guitar does clean tones, well, yep, it does them all right.